buenos dias, what's up? <laughs> so, my name is Greta. I am a UX designer working in the corporate America. I have sold my soul. <sighs> I just kind of woke at, uh, just kidding. This wasn't a last minute decision. I thought about this last night. I was like, you know what? I would love to share a day of my life working as a UX designer in tech with you. So that's what we're going to do today. I just had my first meeting, which was a stand-up. We, I don't typically go to stand-ups actually in corporate. I don't know if that's specific to my company. Oh, all the emails just came at once. Anxiety. But I'm actually moving teams. It's a very interesting transition right now. I'm with the search team, which is like literally what it sounds like when you search something the the type ahead the all of that experience is me and i'm moving over to like the post purchase space so after you buy something all of the stuff that happens right now we're in the discovery phase which is actually very rare this team that i'm on is brand new so it's extremely rare to get to build a team from the ground up in corporate. So a part of that process is the discovery phase, which I actually really love. It's a lot of brainstorming. It's a lot of ideation. It's a lot of working with UX researchers. It's a lot of stuff. I'm not doing too much designing today. Um, you'd be surprised. This is all specific to my role specific to my company so it might be different depending on where you work i design probably like two to three days of the week the other days of the week is a lot of a lot of meetings a lot of um just researching a lot of fixing things a lot of communicating a, you know sometimes a part of the research phase is to design so sometimes if i'm thinking of a possible experience that could we could include i might design a quick mock of it sketch is the design tool that we use but yeah so that's what i'm doing today just doing competitive analysis researching other competitors that's the same thing <laughs> So I might look at Target, I might look at Walmart, I might look at Lowe's. Um, but yeah, I think I'll touch base with my UX researcher that works on the squad that I'm moving to and just ask her, be like, what, what research have you done that you think would be relevant to me, that you think would be really nice for me to know? So, very exciting stuff. Might play around with Sketch, like I said, but first, coffee. Actually, no, 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 no. First, food, because I'm hungry. Second, coffee, okay? Okay, okay. We're gonna have a bomb day, okay? So let's go downstairs. We are now upstairs. A big thing throughout my day 
is to consistently check and make sure I am not missing any meetings or forgetting any meetings. So I usually open up my work calendar. First order of business I wanted to talk about really fast is my desk because I work from home, okay? Working from home has many benefits. I don't get stuck in traffic. I don't have to wake up that one hour earlier. <clears throat> yes. So I have talked about this before, but I got a standing desk converter. So my actual physical desk is not a standing desk, but I got this thing, as you can see here, and I put it on top of my desk and I can literally stand up if I want. So move it up. Voila. And it's so nice because I'm not that old. I'm like early 20s. Well, going to mid 20s. Um, but I have had back pain and I'm like, second thing is obviously I have a work computer that usually when you work in corporate, they give you a work computer. I do need to get a monitor. That is something that I have yet to get. Oh, and also my bullet journal. <laughs> I love this thing. Um, I recently made a video about my February bullet journal spread, which I thought was so cute. But yeah, if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the description. Oh, cringe. I'm so typical YouTuber linking in the description box so you can just watch my videos all day long But I love this thing. It's literally amazing keeps me on track. I like having both digital and also written Notes and stuff. So I use this all the time. Honestly, I need to fill it out for today Um, so I that's what I'm gonna do the, the, That's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna fill out my Wednesday to-do list I have like a master to-do list for the entire month of February and I usually go to that list, look at it, be like, okay, I can check this one off today and I'll move it over to my Wednesday to-do list for today. That's what I'm gonna do. I also, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna check any emails, probably look at what meetings I have for later this week if I have any design critiques. So my to-do list is very dependent on what my meetings look like for the rest of the week. I'm also probably gonna set some meetings. I usually like to, if I have any meetings that I personally need to uh, put on the calendar for other people, I like to do that in the morning rather than at the end of the day so that I make sure that people are aware. And we're going to do that while listening to Un Momento Por Favor, chill, relaxed, lo-fi type of stuff. And I'm going to sip my coffee and just enjoy my life. You know? taken out the other laptop um, sometimes if I like want to listen to music or I don't know sometimes I like to watch YouTube while I'm working but I finished my to-do list um, so I now know exactly what I need to do and I'm just gonna start doing them so the first plan of action is to send my manager uh, an updated roadmap the second thing that I'm gonna do is start the competitive analysis for the new squad and I'm gonna reach out to the other UX designer on the team and the UX researcher on the team and just touch base, ask them how we want to go about this competitive analysis, probably start a PowerPoint deck that I'll share with the team just so that they can see the progress and the updates and add anything that they want along the way. And I'm probably going to set up a, another meeting for the search team 
all about type ahead, which is something that we're working on. So essentially when you type something on the search bar, in the search bar, the suggestions that come in, that's type ahead. So we're doing a bunch of stuff with that. Um, so I'm going to set up a meeting for that with my product manager who kind of acts as like the in-between bridge between myself, a UX designer, and the developers, the engineers. But I'm definitely going to go for a walk later because I need to take advantage of this sunshine, okay? But let's do this, shall we? document to my manager. Check that off. I reached out to the other UX designer and the UX researcher to see how we're going to tackle this competitive analysis, waiting on their responses. I don't want to start anything until I hear back from them just so that we're all on the same page, if we want to collaborate on the deck, if we're going to do solo explorations, all that kind of stuff. And I just got invited to a meeting with the director of UX. Um, it looks like it's pretty much a bunch of people that are working on similar areas, which makes sense. <laughs> um, so I think she's, it's called just a touch base. So I think she just wants to see how we're doing, especially with this whole like reorganization. It's very common for that to happen in corporate. They will literally pick you up and move you to another place and that'll be that <laughs> so until then I think I'm gonna take a little break so I'm going to browse online <laughs> myself I've been wanting to like get some fun new pieces you know and then hop on the meeting and then we'll see what happens from there but I'm gonna take a little break a little breather okay My stepdad is the real MVP and he just like knocked on my door and was like, here you go. <laughs> so I think he made, he made this. So I'm like hype. I was about to go downstairs after my meeting ended to make lunch and I was like, I don't know what I'm going to make. I don't know what's in the fridge. And then he's just, it's like heaven knocked on my door. So this is a turkey burger. And I'm very excited about this. So I'm gonna inhale this right now. And yes, my meeting was great. It was just a touch base. I have a manager now. <laughs> That's what the meeting was about. She was just telling us who our new manager was. Um, but yeah, so I am going to take a break, eat this sandwich or this burger and watch some YouTube. I've really been liking Asia Jackson. Um, she has really chill, she has like the type of vlogs that I can watch and not get too distracted because it's not like so high energy. So I really like her and I like Estee Lalon. I love Estee Lalon. And just a little fun fact, <laughs> I sent her my last video and she responded and she watched it. <laughs> my God. Sandwich 
has been, why do I keep calling it a sandwich? That was a burger. Okay, that was a burger. So I previously, so I got access to some research that's previously been done by user experience researchers, UX researchers in the space that I'm working in. So I'm gonna actually look through that research, um, send it over to the other UX designer that I'm working with, and then we're gonna decide what we want to look at specifically for the competitive analysis. Everyone's always really excited about spring. They're like, oh my god, this the flowers are gonna bloom and like the weather is getting warmer again and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm gonna die because <laughs> my allergies <coughs> are literally, um, they're out to get me sometimes. But anyways, I have just been um looking through the research the exploratory phase of ux or product teams tech teams it can be kind of daunting because there's just so much out there and there's so much competition you need to really know your users very very well and that's kind of what i'm doing right now i'm trying to get get as accustomed as i can because i've only been working here for six months so there's not I don't know everything that I need to know, but I'm trying to kind of understand the customer behavior as much as possible so that all of my design decisions are backed up and they make sense. So yeah, that is the current situation. I'm trying, okay, I'm trying for my therapist. She wants me to be more mindful. Um, so, Hashtag anxiety. Just because I'm working like five hours straight doesn't mean I'm being as productive as I can be. So I notice I'm more productive when I take more breaks. Obviously not like a three hour break, but like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It is so nice outside and it's gonna rain tomorrow. So I know that's gonna mess with my, with my mood. So I'm gonna go for a quick walk real quick I'm gonna come back and keep working I like to put like a little BRB by my name so that people are not like oh did she take off early so that they know I'm gonna be back and let's go I just needed to document the endorphins I'm feeling right now Whew, I'm out of breath if you just need like a pick-me-up if you need some kind of motivation, if you're falling asleep, if you're feeling anxious, whatever it is, literally if you can, I know not everyone can, depending on where you live, but just go for a walk. Like, holy crap, I feel so much better. Uh, mm, I am, what's up? It's been another minute. I've been going through the research um, that's already been done for the squad that I'm working in now. And it's taken me, it's taken me a second. It's a lot of research and I'm like, huh. But I wanted to say another thing that I'm going to do right now. I like to spend like 10 to 15 minutes, not that long, just reading articles about design. That kind of helps me stay up to date and just fresh because things are so fast paced in tech that it's really easy for you to kind of like fall behind, honestly. So that's what I like to do. I don't do it every day, okay? But that's actually one of my habits that I'm trying to implement for 2021 is to just learn <laughs> because, you know, obviously I learn every day on the job, but learning like learning about things that are bigger picture, things that other people are doing about maybe augmented reality or virtual reality or um, 
interaction design, graphic design, anything design related. If you're wondering what websites I use, I'm very basic. <laughs> um, I look at medium.com, uxplanet.org. What else? I also like looking at Dribbble, honestly. They're not necessarily, at least I don't think they have articles on there, but they do have really interesting, just like to see other people's work is really fun. In other days, I'll play with like different design tools, which is like the fun part. So I actually just read one on UX Planet called Six Visual Design Fundamentals That UX Designers Should Consider. And it was really, really interesting. One of the principles that um, the author, Chris Lee, talks about is gravity. Gravity is so ingrained into our perception of reality that it translates even to 2D objects on a page. When I actually take the time to read articles about design, I just, I just get so excited and motivated <laughs> to be in my job. That's pretty much my work day. It's 5.38 to be exact. Um, and usually if you're wondering, is there like a time that I clock out? I don't really clock in or clock out per se. I just kind of go online on Slack. <laughs> That's kind of people's way of knowing that everyone is like available and working. Usually after work, I will make sure I'm not missing any messages. I'll check my Slack at the end of the day to make sure that like there's no one left hanging. <laughs> Actually, let me do that right now. Okay, now we are officially a dump. Okay. Hi, good evening. I don't know if you can hear my mom in deep, intense conversation with my grandma. It's really funny, everything just sounds so much more intense in Spanish. <laughs> so like, they'll, it sounds like they're talking about something like super intense and like profound and dramatic, but really they're talking about like breakfast foods or something. But as you can see, I am in the workout gear. I love this set, Bicep Active, girl. After my food digests a little bit more, I'm gonna work out with my mom. We've really been enjoying like our evening workouts together. It's like our little our time together, but that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about being a UX designer, about getting into UX, about product design, about working in tech, literally about anything related to this video, let me know. You can always hit me up on Instagram. I'm literally always on Instagram. We need to decrease the screen time a little bit, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it provided some insight if you're thinking about going into this field. You should. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Bye.